Okay, so what were you saying about uh, your parents or your dad? Okay, so my parents, uh, I grew up very religious. Both my parents went to Bible college, and my dad was the valedictorian, and my mom was the salutatorian of their Bible college in Sacramento, California. It's a pretty big church. It was like Trinity something. Anyways, but um, so my whole life, I learned a lot about the Bible and then I went to a Christian school. So I had to read the Bible back to front a bunch of times in my life and I grew up you know, going to the Christian school and so we had to memorize all the, the books of the Bible and learn like the order. So I actually know all the books of the Bible in order. I'm gonna say them so you guys know what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna say them. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First Kings, Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai. Zechariah, Malachi, and now the New Testament is Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, First and Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, First and Second Thessalonians, First and Second Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, First and Second Peter, First and Second Third John, Jude, and Revelation. They're my books of Bible. I may have missed them. I don't know, but that's just from memory. Maybe it's wrong. And my mom would read the Bible every year. Like she had this little, this little planner, uh, like calendar that it gave you the scriptures to read each day, so that you could finish the whole Bible in a year. Like it would tell you which Bible verses you need to read, so you could finish in a year. And she did that every year, and I did it a couple times. Um, but throughout my life, like. I had you in school, uh, in the Christian school, you had a Bible class. So we had to learn Bible verses all the time, read the Bible all the time, and memorize it. And uh, I've heard my mom and dad talk about it so many times. So I know a lot about the Bible. And I get frustrated because most people don't. And the information that they're saying, okay, now I'm not religious. I don't believe in Christianity at all. I think it's total bullshit. But... If you're going to be a Christian, at least go off of what your fucking book says. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to base your whole existence on the Bible, at least have the facts right. And that's what drives me insane because these people don't even know what they're believing in. And they, they just regurgitate what their pastor tells them. Well, their pastor isn't always accurate. Because half the pastors haven't even really read that much of the Bible. Like, we're talking about a book that most people don't read. Because for one thing, it's really boring and, and confusing a lot of times, especially when you get to Revelations. And so most people, like, fall asleep reading the Bible. So it's not like the majority of people, even your pastor, maybe has not even read, like, the entire Bible. And all this stuff that they're saying is not even in the Bible is what it's irritates me. Like, this whole thing, like... Uh, about that the gay stuff is in the Bible? No, there's one verse that says a man shouldn't live with another man in the, like the Old Testament, which is it's totally out of context. We don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. And that's where someone said that it's like, that the gay is wrong, which is ridiculous. And then things like not having sex or that Jesus was against sex. Jesus hung out with prostitutes. So I don't know where people are coming up with this stuff. And that's why I find it irritating because I don't care what they believe, but if they're going to say that they believe the Bible, they might as well have their facts right. Like, it'd be like being a professor and having your book that your whole class is on, but everything you teach has nothing to do with that book. And then you, but you give the test at the end of the year on the book. But everything you said is completely opposite of it. It'd be like, okay, I mean, that's basically what they're doing. And then they're like, it's, just, it's just stupid because now, and then they go and start talking about this stuff like it's in the Bible. And I'm like, that's not in the Bible. And I know the Bible. And I'm not 
saying everything in the Bible is cool. There's a lot of bullshit in there. I'm just saying it's not even as bad as the shit that they're coming up with. Like, the hatred and racism and um, uh, attack against gay people and attack against um, sexuality and all that. None of that's in the Bible. They come up with this crap. Like, oh, in the Bible it says you can't be gay. In the Bible it says you can't have sex. Okay, for one thing, the a lot of the stuff they're talking about is in the Old Testament, which you were supposed to throw out the window. Because if you're a Christian, you were, like, the point was when Jesus came, he said the Old Testament is old. Like, it's old teachings. It's archaic. It's very uh, strict, archaic teaching. The New Testament is a lot softer, like, more about loving each other. But everyone wants to, when they want to quote something, they go back to the harsh Old Testament stuff. When they do want to say something that, oh, that is in the Bible, when they go and they regurgitate some fucking nonsense stuff from the Old Testament, which the Old Testament was supposed to be like the old edition, throw it out, not have it with the new one. But they put them together, and then everyone will pick and choose what they want to, to whatever their agenda is. And it's very easy to pick and choose when especially the stuff was written in Hebrew thousands of years ago. And that was also after it had already been transferred word of mouth for many years. So anything that's written down is not even accurate. To know, like, you cannot say it is because there's no way that when something was just passed on from generation to generation, that can be exactly what was originally said or done. So there's no way that you can go word for word by what the Bible says anyways. Because... For one thing, just being in a different language, a lot of things are lost in translation and taken out of context or just uh, confused because words are different words in different languages. Like you won't have like an exact meaning for that word when you go from Hebrew to English or whatever language. So you can't say in the Bible, it says word for word this. Because you're like, okay, well, originally it was written in Hebrew after it had been passed down for like hundreds of years from word of mouth. So you're taking some, it'd be like the telephone game. It's literally like the telephone game. And then you're being like, oh, word for word, word for word from the telephone game? Where, but 200 years of the telephone game or more? Like imagine the miscommunications occurring there. And so I get very irritated by people that are pounding people with this book that they've one thing probably have never read. And if they've read it, they don't understand it because it's very complex. I mean, no one really understands everything in the Bible. I mean, like, especially in Revelation, it's like, it's talking about stuff that they didn't know what it was. So you can't like, it'd be like if you saw something that you've never seen before, like an alien, like, and they were trying to explain it in the words that they knew at the time and how to explain it. So, like, Revelation is all kinds of crazy stuff that people don't even know. It talks about, like, you know, three-headed beasts and stuff. What is that? Um, so, there's a lot of stuff that people don't even know what they're talking about. So, I don't really understand how people can sit there and preach the Bible to people when, for one thing, Half the stuff they don't even know. I mean, there's like most pastors will, they really don't touch on Revelation much because no one fucking knows what they were talking about. So it's ridiculous when they think the rest of the Bible they understand perfectly. And I go, oh, really? Because you don't even know the last book. You don't even fucking have any idea what they're even talking about. So how do you know that you know what the rest of the stuff they're talking about? They say, don't lay with another man. Okay, what is the context of that? (laughs) Maybe they were saying, hey, don't lay with just one man. Lay with tons of men and women and everyone. Don't just lay with one. Have multiple. 